to me, um, the uh, the energy was weird in the building, right? Because it was mostly empty, kind of a sluggish start. Just take us through it. And what was uh, what was going on early in the game? Um, we just tried to create our own energy. Um, we knew it wasn't going to be a set out game, but uh, we wanted to make it special for us. And we knew we were in our bench for that. And uh, we just tried to be aggressive out of the gate, um, create energy on the court with our defense, and just uh, you know make the most of what we had with the opportunity we had today. What um, we could sort of hear, Coach, getting on you guys to grab some more rebounds. Um, what you know, they got up to I think seventeen nine edge on the boards. What was going on there, and how'd y'all get that turn? Um, you know, they're one of the leading rebounding teams in the country. Um, we knew they were coming in, um, and they hit us a little bit early, but uh, we were able to control, um, get some back, and get our own offensive rebounds, and you know, just play through the game, play through the mistakes. Um, that's a big part of, you know, as our process continues to go, um, just learning to play through mistakes, play with each other, and um, you know, just keep playing throughout the game. So, uh, I mean, they had us a little bit early, but um, we got some offensive rebounds of our own and um, show it up a little bit in the second half. What did you like most about this performance? Uh, that we won, and we're going home and playing with W. I'm very happy about that. You said uh, before this game that maybe you're not quite where you think the team should be. What what do you need to do to get to where you want to be? Um, just keep starting in the right directions. Um, you know, it's not a one-day fix or like one day transition for us. I mean, we played 10 games together. Um, we're a team with a lot of talent. Um, just trying to put it all together. And um, we're just trying to keep it positive. Um, you know, trying to just get better every day in practice. Um, we can stick to our script and, you know, just come out and play hard and play our game. Go take this basketball. Two you guys, have, Go you guys have, played, have been used to playing a, sort of a stringent defense, coming out, taking control, playing the bully role, if you will. They sort of stood up to you in the first half and they even took a lead. What was said at halftime to sort of change the mindset, stay focused, but to come out, because you guys went on a 13-0 run, to sort of seize control of the game? Um, I think a big turning point for us was um, closing out the first half really strong. Um, it was a good opportunity for us to um, create a lead, and we did that. Um, and it was a, I think it was a tight game before the last four minutes of uh, the first half. So um, that was big for us, and then just going into the second half with the mindset of, just dominating the paint. Um, we knew a lot of the points in the first half came from second chance points. Um, so just shutting that up and um, rebounding and running. That was a big emphasis for us today, pushing the ball because we know they wanted to play a little bit slower. Um, so I think we did that well. Last one for two. What um, you guys, uh, what'd you do? You got out here Friday, right? Did you have any fun? Did you do anything? Uh, wherever we go with these guys, it's a good time. But um, Coach Beard, it shows we have a good experience along the way. Uh, saw some little magic show. Um, with our, Which one? Uh, David Copperfield. Okay, all right. So was, was what uh, was the best? What was the best trick you pulled off? Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. There were a couple of great ones. Like, I couldn't tell you the best one. <laughs> it was funny, entertaining to say the least. Timmy, thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Questions for Coach, please. All right, Coach. Um, Freshman player for Stanford is from Dallas. Uh, had a struggle the first half, but ended up with 13 in the second half, 15 all together. Did you know about him beforehand? Had you recruited him? Yes, we recruited Harrison. He's one of the best players in the country. So uh, from Dallas, uh, my hometown. I grew up in Irving, and uh, yeah, a lot, great player, a lot of respect, uh, fantastic family, uh, one of the best high school coaches in the country. So, you know, I wish he, uh, wish he would have chosen to play for us, but he made a great choice uh, in Stanford, great choice. And Harrison's a guy that's not just defined by basketball. He's, he's going to be a guy that's going to be great after the ball starts bouncing too. I think that's consistent with places like Texas and Stanford. What, uh, Chris, you know, kind of picking up on, they, they got up on the, on the boards, the edge there. What were you telling the guys and how'd they get a turn? It really was a difference in the game. You know, I think, thought we more than held our uh, held our ground on the boards. They had um, they had ten offensive rebounds in the game, and they had eight in the first seven minutes of the game. So we, we played Stanford for over thirty minutes and only gave up two offensive rebounds. So to me, that and our ability defensively to make them turn the ball over, they turned the ball over what twenty two times, and uh, we only gave up two offensive rebounds in the last thirty minutes of the game. So our defense, I thought, was the difference in the game tonight. The 13-0 uh, the run, I think six different players scored, but you got six stops. 
I mean, you talk about trying to get three stops in a row. Just talk about what you were seeing in that run. Yeah, it's been a while since we felt that, and um, you know, our team continues to be a work in progress. I think if you know, if you ask us what our vision is, it's like where we can get into some spurts like that every time we play. If our defense was creating offense, uh, and then of course during that segment, you know, we made a couple shots. So we've got really good shooters. It's one of the best shooting teams I've ever coached. It just hasn't materialized on the stat sheet yet. You know, today we took about 16 three-point shots. And I thought with my naked eye. 12 or 13 of them were good shots, you know, that I would take 10 out of 10 times. Uh, we just got to stay the course, but it's nice today to win against a quality opponent uh, when shots really weren't going down for us. Chris, when, you're, when you have a team like this that focuses on defense, um, slowing the pace a little bit, but, you know, if you got to go in transition, is it easier sort of to maintain a somewhat of a semblance of patience with it, with it, to, to let the game come to them rather than you were a fast paced team and you were in running gun. Is it, is it a little simpler with this group to be patient? I mean, what I, what I hope people recognize is we're a winning team. You know, we're prepared to play at whatever pace needs to, need to be played to win the game. You know, you make the NCAA tournament, you got to win six games. You're not going to be able to play slow for six games, fast for six games. You know, it's, this is the whole idea of college basketball. You have to have a team that can play different ways. I thought our ability to force 22 turnovers tonight. Um, you know, we were trying to speed the game up today, but you're playing against a really well-coached, disciplined Stanford team. And I don't, I don't want to speak for Stanford, but I don't think their game plan was to run up and down with us. So, um, you know, again, I think we, we want to play uh, at a winning pace. Uh, to do that, we obviously got to score the ball better than we are right now. Um, again, you know, it's 14 players out there that haven't played together. Uh, it's not an excuse, it's the reality. We're just working towards trying to be the best team we can be. We need to make that next turn come January. And then ultimately, you know, when you check back with us in February and March, if we're a team that's taking that next step, then I think we'll have a chance to be one of the best teams in the country. You do our life with balance and depth thus far. Are you pleased with where they're at in terms of being able to reach down to your bench and grab whomever? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, to me, the defensive uh, emphasis was our ability to rebound and turn them over today. And on the offensive end, you know, we had great balance. We had 24 points off our bench tonight. If we can get 24 points off our bench, we'll be really hard to beat. Uh, we got some of our best players and shooters, great quality shots. Just wasn't night, our night to shoot. Um, but I thought we manufactured some points off the offensive rebounds too. You know, if you'd have told me before the game, you and Stanford are basically going to have the same amount of offensive rebounds, I would have took that. Um, so on a night where maybe we didn't shoot it well, uh, we got a lot of good things done defensively. Our bench had great scoring tonight. Uh, we manufactured some points off the offensive rebounding, which is needed for us. One last one. Uh, what was your favorite David Copperfield uh, trick? Yeah, so I've seen the show twice. Um, you know, I think at the end, I don't know, can I, can I say these things or am I ruining the show for people? <laughs> so, I mean, you can kind of describe it. He had a pet dinosaur when he was a kid that had a little bling. He had a gold tooth. And um, it's his prized possession that he wishes he still had. And then miraculously, uh, something happened at the end to let you kind of figure it out. <laughs> Our guys were pretty excited though when the dino made the made the reappearance. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Thanks. Thanks, all.